Hi everybody, this is Juliette from the Master Mares. This is my video to present my immersion project about contamination during microalgae production. Enjoy! I'm doing my immersion project in a French startup called Inal. Inal is specialized in the production of marine microalgae. In fact, in the context of increasing of the global population, protein sources are needed. And microalgae are one of the solutions as the new alternative and unconventional protein sources. Created in 2016 by Christophe Wasser and Hubert Bonfond, INALV is developing a new biotechnology to cultivate microalgae in biofilm. I'm working with the team research, production, and development uh, at the Laboratoire Océanographique de Villefranche-sur-Mer. I'm supervised by Axel and Freddy. The subject of my immersion is very large, it's contamination. In fact, during the culture of microalgae, microorganisms present can grow and become a real problem. In fact, they can disturb, leading to the decrease of the production. In this context, we identify two major objectives. Firstly, is to find where do contamination come from and then is to try to identify, quantify and treat them. So the first axis is where the contamination come from. Microalgae are cultivated in greenhouse close to the sea. This place is not a closed place, meaning that contamination can appear in different way. We identify different way to enter. Firstly, there is the environment, for example, the air. Then we have the human factor, meaning the material or the worker. Then there is the water that we use for the culture of the system. In the context of my internship, we decided to invest if the water use can bring contamination to the system. We did different manipulation to compare autoclave water, free to any contamination, with water from our system, in different volume. We conclude that contamination can pass through our filtration system. However, different techniques could help us to eliminate the contamination, such as UV. In fact, it's well known in the literature that contamination, such as zooplankton, could be sensitive to UV. The second part of the internship is how to identify, quantify and treat uh, the contamination. So the identification was done during the two months of lockdown. In fact, I read a lot of articles to try to understand more about the contamination, like for example, who they are, what they hid, how did they reproduce. And I have a, I did a big database about all that and make a presentation for the INALF team. I identified two major contamination, contamination, firstly the zooplankton and then the cyanobacteria. Uh, they have different action on the biofilm. In fact, for example, zooplankton, they will graze the biofilm, leading to the apparition of little um, white dots, meaning that the biofilm is removed grays and the cyanobacteria are easy to see because they produce a blue pigment so you can see on the biofilm that it's a bit blue. To quantify the zooplankton we develop a technique using the Sedwick and Rafter counting cell. After fixing the sample with Lugol it's easy to count the different contaminants and have a quantification cell per ml. Inalv is currently using this technique for the contamination. Then what about the treatment? Well, that's a big part. For the moment, we know that different treatments are found into the literature to cure the microalgae production. We choose to focus on the chemical treatment at different con concentration. We test treatment on two different zooplankton species at different concentrations during three days. Then we analyze the effect on the contamination and on the microalgae. The next part will be what the new intern have to do. I think that a new protocol could be developed, for example, to try to find maybe uh, another way that contamination can pass through our system. Then he can or have to develop the protocol that I have and to improve it, optimize it for the mass production. And finally, imagine if a new contamination can appear, it could lead to the same work that I did like identification, quantification and treatment. So thank you for watching guys and thank you to all the Inalf team who welcomed me and teach me all the things. <laughs>